What's up everyone? Welcome to Clown World News. Today we're going to talk about something pretty ridiculous. So be sure to grab the biggest grain of salt you can because what I'm about to talk about is a bit... Uh, it's crazy. It's definitely crazy. It's definitely uh, far out. So here's a little bit of salt to help prepare you. Okay, okay. Oh no. Oh, he's already out. He stands up. I think he thought he was getting down right now. So there's some salt for you. <laughs> Let's just jump right in. All right, so we have a theory that uh, that if you use this this program, I'll link it. This weather app satellite program. You can see these are the fires in the West Coast, Oregon, and California. And the theory goes that there is actually a directed energy weapon being used to cause these fires. A do, D-E-W, a directed energy weapon. So apparently people, you can, there's a little 3D map breaking it down, but apparently people have found uh, what you could call artifacts in the, in the data. So you can see the satellite overlay here, and there's lots of smoke from the fires. We'll try to find a, here's a GIF of it, with the color corrected so that you can see this line, because it's very faint. It's a very faint line, but right above all of these little fire spots, we see this beam. And you've probably seen the beam before. Let's see if we can pull up a beam. Laser beam, Cali fire. These are some stupid looking pictures from yeah, so you can see that there's these beams. They're suggested that there was beams. Here you go. Here's a famous one from 2016, I believe. Beams just shooting down. Now these pictures, of course, could be photoshopped. Everything could be. Everything could be fake, you know. But we got this is not a forest fire. Uh, I'm probably in the way in this picture. Let me move my guy over here. Uh, look, yeah. So now why do people say it's not a forest fire? Because you can tell from this picture here that the forest is unaffected in a lot of these places. It's almost like it's targeted. It's hitting specific spots. And we'll go back over here. Nobody puts baby in the corner. But let's look again. So here we have the earth. And then if there was a satellite somewhere up here in, in relative 3D space, when we're looking at this flat image, but it's of the round globe you know. allegedly allegedly round i mean if i want to talk about laser beams coming out of space i should probably like not take such a strong stance on cosmology and things that i don't really know <laughs> but regardless we're not talking about the shape of the earth really we're talking about is a laser beam coming down from outer space causing these fires wait no it's a gender Reveal party. Yeah, that, that's exactly what it is, right? California fire sparked by a gender reveal party. As I already reported on this before, but like... This seems a bit ridiculous. This seems like it's just designed to get people mad at each other. I mean, maybe it happened. I'm not saying it didn't happen, but we're gonna... We're gonna pretend... We're gonna put the tinfoil hat on. We're gonna pretend, just for the sake of the argument, that these are energy weapons doing causing this and that why would they pick this headline well cnn clown news network would pick that headline because it makes people frustrated with their fellow man and if there's anything that the who's who the powers that be want right now it is the, the population frustrated with each other so again here we can see all the fires and the smoke this is from earlier in the daytime when you could actually see the smoke coming off of these things Here's the hot zones. So this is up in Oregon. You can see where Portland is. Then here's a little rough mock-up of what <laughs> what it would look like, I guess. So the satellite would be like right here floating around and then... And people were actually tracking satellites at the time. So there are satellites that were above that area at the time. So you use this satellite. Uh, it's, it's a pretty esoteric uh, technology. Meaning that to even understand how this whole graph works, this whole thing works, it's pretty odd. Uh, it's pretty unintuitive 
type of data. Yeah. So we're just going to look at a few of these things and I guess just try to see what's good with the what's what. So here we have another beam. You can see the beam. This time it's coming from here and it seems to be pointed here in Oregon. So whatever the satellite maybe was here at one point shot down and then maybe because the spinning of the earth or whatever or the moving of the satellite. Is this a satellite? What is this thing? I don't know. But we can see the line. I think it's been color corrected, perhaps. It's very faint. I don't know if you can see it on your screen. Might have to turn up the brightness. But here's that moment on the actual College of DuPage weather app. The next lab satellite and radar. And you can see the line pointed at these hot spots. Now, could it be, I don't know, the heat coming off of these highly very hot these things are so hot these fires are so hot you can see them from outer space or from low earth orbit so perhaps there's some sort of light refraction that hits the lens of whatever i don't know could it be an artifact in the data in the the lens of these satellites perhaps the suggestion is that here's it's been color corrected so you can see it better the suggestion is is that we have these things or the world has these things called directed energy weapons and they're put on satellites and they basically just shoot beams of concentrated energy, light, um, plasma, whatever. I'm not really sure on the specifics. But if we know that you can take a handheld laser and you can use that to start a forest fire if you want, like not like a laser pointer, but with a, with a certain powerful enough laser, you could definitely start a fire on the ground. We know that we have proof of concept of this. So you just take that device, put it on a satellite, and now you can target pretty much anything you want. So how do we know that they can target things like that? Well, if we look at, uh, this is from 2016, and you can notice that, let me see if I can get closer. Uh, you can notice that the forest around this neighborhood was completely unfazed by the forest fire, which is very odd. A lot of these buildings are destroyed, but not all of them. Some of them right next to each other, like these, were un, untargeted or unfazed by the fires. Even these trees within this neighborhood were unfazed. Now, perhaps the fires swept in from down here and maybe just fucked some shit up and then just so happened to not touch certain things. That's possible, I guess. But I'm just explaining why people think this theory exists, why or why the theory exists, why people think that a directed energy weapon could have been used. Now, it, it also targeted a specific group of people, some people in Hollywood, some people who may have not really wanted to play ball with Hollywood. I think like Gerard Butler's home was affected. I'm not sure exactly if he's deeply in with cahoots. I've never heard of him being deeply in with the Hollywood rings and allegations that you hear about and his quote about it's going to be biblical from a law-abiding citizen is often used in circles of patriots so also we have uh this is from 2016 all the aluminum was completely melted but the other parts weren't so it's almost like the it's almost like this energy beam, it heats at a specific frequency or specific temperature that only affects certain things, but not other things. Cause you notice this car is completely melted, but the, the trees around it are fine, which is very odd, very, very odd. And here we have this little strip, this little blackening, almost the, the suggestion here is that the official suggestion is that this is caused by the forest fire. But the suggestion that I'm going to present is that People are saying that the, the beam was turned on, the satellite moved a little bit, and then they turned it off real quick. Like maybe an accidental fire or just a test run or something. And that's why it has this uniform pattern. And it was done on like AstroTurf. Like I'm sure this is like some sort of, at, at the very least, manicured grass. So it probably wouldn't have caught on like a, like a brush firewood. That's why it has this nice uniformity. So yeah, that's basically the the who's, what's, what with the what of what's going on with this theory. You can see these beams again, this one from down here. And then this one from up top to California. 
And yeah, so we, again, we look at this, it shows the visible section of the beam. Satellite might be here, the beam source. This is the satellite of what we're watching. So this is the, the star is this view. And then, yeah, so it is possible to determine this distance, then you could determine the angle of source if you also know the maximum satellite. So this is what it looks like on the map. So I'll link to this and you can do your own little research if you want. But let me know what you think. Uh, are directed energy weapons being used to start forest fires on the west coast? Are we under attack? Is this a hot war? Is this a, a, a self-inflicted wound to cause you no know, sympathy for California? Who controls the airspace on, on satellites above your state? Is this China attacking us? Who's, is it, who is it? Who's attacking us? Is it another country? Maybe one in the Middle East? Who knows? But let, let's let's play it out though. Let's say that it is a, an energy weapon of some, of some sort being used to do this deliberately. Uh, think about what Elon Musk wants to do with uh, Starlink. And it, it sounds awesome. Sounds great. Put satellites everywhere so that you can have internet, cheap internet for the whole world. So the whole world can become connected to the internet which sounds a little, it sounds cool. But then when you think about like, do we really want everyone on Tinder and Snapchat and social media? I don't know if we really want that. I think, I, I think that creates a, a weird sort of new world order, perhaps. I think I like the idea of different nations, different cultures, not having every, if you go to an airport, pretty much most airports look the same. They all have a Starbucks, they all have taxis, they all have, you know, this, that, plugs chairs you know the basics so every city area around the airport starts to look the same too whereas like there still are some places in the world that if you land in like in the congo cambodia some of these places you can land and it looks very crazy but it looks very much like whoa you are not in kansas anymore dorothy so could these satellites that elon musk wants to put up could that just create an array that at any moment because who knows what they're putting on those satellites and who knows how even expensive these types of things are they might not even be that expensive or that difficult to build so if you had an array of them imagine what you could do with an array of things like this imagine this is one satellite and maybe this is an old one from like 2012 or something like that when they put it up 2016 maybe if you had a modern one from 2020 and a whole like thousands of these things all pointed at one spot that's a tesla death ray if i've ever heard of it <laughs> so yeah i don't want to get too lost in the sauce you guys let me know i, I just saw this, saw this theory thought it was pretty interesting thought you guys might get a kick out of it just doing my investigative journalism yeah i'll link this if you support investigative independent journalism and the I hate doing ads, but yeah, if you support this channel and all that stuff, you can check out the description. I do have a Patreon and there's other ways you can support it. But honestly, just commenting, let me know your thoughts. That's really my favorite because I actually try to read every comment that I can. Sharing the video is great, all that other jazz, but I don't know if you really want to go sharing this one. You might, people might call you a kook. <laughs> they might call you a crazy person. Well, you've been watching too much Alex Jones. The turn of the frog is gay, Joe. <laughs> The Joe Rogan has a perfect, a perfect Alex Jones impersonation. Oh, by the way, though, they were turning the frogs gay. That actually turned out to be true. So also shout out to the dude in my comment who told me to, to turn my mic to the side because I didn't understand how microphones work because I've been brainwashed by media growing up. But maybe I just, I don't know. I don't understand things about things. I'm a simple man with a simple mind. So yeah, be a good person. Stay vigilant. Take everything you see with a grain of salt. Should we get more salt? Let's get another salt from the from the GR Smash channel. What do we got here? Yikes. Let's get some salt. <laughs> Don't be so salty, bro. <laughs> be so salty. Call your mom. Peace.